Hi everyone, I am Alexandra Bello with Flow Film Festival and Market Interview Series. Today I have the opportunity to talk to director Bilen Liao, and she is going to talk to us about her project that she submitted to Flow Film Festival titled An Artist's Journey from China to America. How are you doing today? Thank you so much. I'm good. Very good. Why don't you why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and your background? Okay, thank you. First, I want to thank you, Alexandra. Thank you so much for today's interview. My name is Binaniel, a retired art professor uh, in US and the author of the book, Diary of the Dragon's Daughter. I am a first time, first time film, filmmaker for the documentary short, The Artist Journey from China to America. I was born and grew up in China. At my age 45, I was granted US permanent residency visa and the earning of a extreme ability category. I come to America to have the freedom to paint the truth about my family journey in China. So in nine years, I earned two master degrees in art and studied art in Italy and I become an art professor you know, in Kentucky. Well, I built the Bilania Gallery. I painted the story of my journey and wrote my book. And my documentary showed a film, uh, you know, an artist's journey from China to America. Very nice, very nice. Um, what, in, what inspired you to create art, to be, to be an artist? Um, inspired me to create my art. I am on the mission to find the truth and to have the freedom to tell me the truth. You know, the truth and the justice of the American way. I wanted to know why my father lost his business and the uh, you know, the Chinese government took everything away from our family and we were starving, treated, treated very badly and discriminated against. I hope people can learn from my art and now to repeat the mistakes again and encourage people never give up the dreams. Very nice. Very nice. So why do you think that art is important to human beings? And how do you think your art has been important in people's lives? Uh, yes, art communicates on a deep level. Okay, so human being can feel uh, and understand better. For me, I feel complain to tell my story through paintings in my film about my family to record a history and also for my own therapy. Very nice. Yeah, art is very, very therapeutic. Very therapeutic and I agree with you um, that art communicates at a deeper level. It reaches people's hearts and yeah. visually and audiovisually it persuades them or impacts them in a very interesting way. So that's why art is so important. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I wanna know when you were growing up, who either from your family, uh, did, you, uh, did you admire the most? Maybe they inspired you to take a journey in life. Yeah, uh, I admire mostly is my mother because uh, mom, Mother's love, okay. She's a very kind and a sweet tradition woman. Uh, for uh, just my mother is suffered much throughout her entire life. You know, my mother's really love taught me how to be very kind, kindness and compassion, and also never give up. Give up. Um, for example, during the dark time, my father was in prison. So many times I was treated very badly and discriminated against by my classmates at school. I was very 
very, very dejected. When I come home, uh, my mother always found a way to comfort me to to a positive attitude, be happy. And my mother never complains about his suffering and she always smile and happy. Very nice, very nice. So I also wanted you to tell the audience a little bit about your documentary. It's a 44 minute documentary about your journey. What can you tell the audience so they can develop interest in watching it? Okay, thank you so much. Yes. Um, I right now it's a documentary short, the artist journey from China to America. It's the tr true story of myself as an Asian immigrant or artist, a woman, and my family living through the dark and the terrified days under a uh, you know, addicted mouth to overcome separation. Discrimination, starving, starving, you know, star, uh, starvation, and also forced marriage and death. Uh, my father and my um, sister. So, if for years later, you know, my memories still haunt me as I painted away from my uh, deep feelings and the light mails on the canvas. So, actually, also, it's the journey about all mothers' love for the children. Like my mother of me and I, my love to my daughter, just, uh, you know, also represent all women's love to children. And to have the courage to find the truth and the freedom to share through my artwork, never give up your dream. I cannot All think. right, that's very important. That leads me to the next question. Uh, we are gonna we're gonna be sharing your work at the end of the interview. But right now, I wanted you to tell me and tell people watching what is a piece of advice that you have for female artists out there that have a similar situation or a similar uh, life journey as, as yours. Okay, uh, <clears throat> uh, is the universe okay? Uh, well, first of all, believe okay, woman can meet many challenges, right? <clears throat> I'm the director, editor, producer, writer, photography, and also narrative. You know, even I don't have any project on this project. I want to say confidence on yourself. If you believe your project, you know, so just you need to believe your project. And um, my short, you know, the document you received right now is 23 awards. Actually, today I received another one, so it's 23 awards. And also received many rejections. I don't take it personal from these rejections. Uh, I was a college professor. I taught my students how to learn from critiques and to learn from mystics. And the second is work hard and very passionate on your project. If you don't have budget like me, and they try to do by yourself to learn the film industry, industry, film industry and editing software. And take a free workshops uh, when you can. And uh, submit the, your film to film festival, like, uh, you know, I submit the film to your film festival and continue to improve your film and try to get a free back. And I like their, uh, the film on freeway website because I can replace my video anytime and the film will film the free film will support us very helpful very help me to helpful to answer my questions and also other one I want to tell you just check the film festival or not just if the list are on MDB and you know so that is good because you try to get the uh, Get someone published for MBD. And the final, just be happy. What are you doing? Yeah, we are human being. Nick, myself, you know, um, I started the filmmaker. I'm 67. Okay? So, so the new business, the nigga, be filmmaker. You don't look 67. I, I'm 67. Yeah, yeah you don't look your age. I don't really look like a good. 
<laughs> so, you know, sometimes I frustrate on my editing and all computer problems, really, right? Then I, and I will walk away to play piano. I play some piano for calm down myself, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Um, my last question to you before we view your work and talk a little bit about your art that you're sharing with us is mm -hmm. what did you love the most about your lifelong journey? Uh, yeah, I most love the time when people crossed my path who uh, inspired me to never give up my dream. Like my family members, especially my mother, my grandmother, and my co-works. My co-works, they are educated. And during this time, they sent to, to the factory, you know, just, a, you know, send to the factory because people have educated is not good people. So I'm the monk uh, during the dark time in China. Uh, when I come to America, you know, at my age 45, English, English was very, very challenging. And I worked three jobs to support myself and my daughter. Um, I was thinking about it to give up my dream for freedom to come back to China to continue my successful career. But my English teacher, girls, encouraged me, don't give up my dream of freedom. Okay, very nice. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us. Now I'm going to sh uh, share my screen so we can watch uh, some works of art of yours that you put into a video for us. And then I would like for you to describe it a little bit after, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, let me open this video. And um, yeah. The first one is the voice of America. That is the is the is very important one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let me see if I can. Sh okay. Is it showing? Yes. 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 Perfect. All right. <clears throat> Voice of America Radio began broadcasting into China in 1942 in Chinese. Evan's father had to hide it under a blanket with his radio because anyone caught listening to American radio would be punished. To be as a little girl, her father looked like he was playing a game. Evan wanted to join in the fun. But her grandmother held Evan close to her. Elon's mother was watching next to the window, and her brother was watching by the door in case a neighbor might report them to the authority. Elon believes the seed of her American dream was planted by Voice of America Radio. I was always hungry. And my grandmother and my mother sold everything they had to get some food for us. I remember one day, in our dinner, we have a little bit of meat. It tastes like a smoked bacon. It was so good. We asked her for more. She said, there is no more. We asked her. Grandma, why isn't there any more? She replied, because I only caught one small mouse. According to history professor Frank DeCotter, at least 45 million people were worked, starved, or beaten to death in China over these four years from 1958 to 1962. Dylan's father had to become an industrial engineer, but he could not form a company or sign a contract. He asked a Red Rebel leader to sign an agreement with a factory and receive his money when the project was completed. The leader agreed and signed the contract. But the Red Rebel leader 
broke his agreement and one night he brought his men with guns to Bilin's home and told Bilin's mother if her father did not give him money now, he would take her father away. I was 15 and had to leave Tansa and go to Jiangxi to work there to support my family. My work team received the orders for a new project located out in the country far away from the hotel where I lived. All the men who worked there lived in a large tent. I was the only woman on my work team and the only place for me to stay was a bounded temple that had been used as the morgue. It was still surrounded by many graves, and I was afraid every night. I was very sad to hear my grandmother died, and I could not go to the funeral. I wrote to my mother, telling her of my fear, and she immediately asked me to come home. I had just it. And the sixteen. That's it. Thank you. All right. I am no longer sharing the screen. Thank you so <laughs> much for sharing with us. Can you tell me about those? Uh, those art pieces that you were displaying in that video? Yeah, the first one is the worship of my again. You can see um, my husband did a letter of it, you know, the, for the voice over. Um, during this time, you know, in China, you know, China was a Chinese, Chinese government controlled all new meetings, and especially my father was, yeah, was in the prison, and when he come back, and he tried to find the truth. So that's the, so that's the, I was a little girl, you know, I, I just remember how my father hiding under blanket. And so I, I was saw my father play the game. Actually, he was trying to, you know, listen to the radio of Voice of America. It was very dangerous if you find out and they really get a, really get a high punish. So that's, and, is so also this is come actually i would say the seed actually this uh, worship american also put the seeds for me uh about my american dream so i want to come to america for the dream because finally the, the get the freedom you know to to yeah so the worship american um so i want to paint the my painting the story i feel okay first of all, i before never thought i would make a movie so because i'm a painter I'm an artist. And then, um, so I painted the story. So that's it. Yeah, that's the painting the story, try to uh, let the people to know how freedom is so important. The second painting, you know, second you show the image is um, uh, the first of teeny mouth. Uh, during this time, China, 1958, because my, my painting and the film is about educational, also is a history, historical. They have for in the history, history, his, historical. I'm sorry if my English, if you don't understand, you know. I uh, understand, I understand. Yeah, please stop me. Because that's the reason I said that I come to America for five years old. I did not speak English at all, okay? So that's the reason I, I said I need to prepare because for my teaching, okay. Um, we're always hungry. We always always hungry because we don't have meat. We don't have food. Of course, we don't have meat. So we don't have meat for many many months. One night we have a little bit of meat and it tastes like a smoked bacon and uh, and we eat a little bit. I asked my grandmother, "Can I have more?" <laughs> my grandmother said, "I only caught a small mouse." So this is a true story from my personal experience. And also behind the story is Chinese history. So during the four years, we have 45 million Chinese died uh, for starvation and beating you know, to death. So third painting is about 
third in the art is by a father, Dung Kao Hong. And I worked at the factory. I began, I was 14 years old. I am the weather, weather, W-E-R-D-R, okay, weather, weather, my pronunciation. <laughs> so, uh, so, you know, so one night I got home and the, the you know, just a uh, right guard surround our home. So they, you know, they want the money from my father because so I, yesterday, um, the information, you know, explained in the uh, video. So people don't believe, you know, what happened, you know, so how we treated very, uh, how badly, how we discriminated against her. Even my father was a doctor and he came home, he cannot be the doctor anymore. So he tried to learn the engineer, uh, like self-taught by, by himself. But he cannot make a company, so he had to hire. Uh, he had work was red red guards, uh, like a red rappers, a red rapper, um, to sign a contract. So they they don't they just break uh, break out of the agreement to the want money right now. So that is um, the this is the true piece is the father don't come home, you know just. Uh, so, so that's, you know, this is about my father fostered and later uh, my father uh, actually uh, killed himself as uh, uh, my father killed himself, yeah. So, yeah, so just a lot for a uh, very uh, bad, bad uh, treat, very bad to uh, our family, like, uh, you know, like uh, my family and other people, like we, they call a uh, black, they call our black. It's not like American, Black people, they also call our black. Uh, why are we black? Because we're from a high education family, a rich family, and that only your poor uh, are good. Uh, your rich and educated are not good. And you speak out are not good. So other one is when the show is, uh, what I show the other one? Oh God. Um, oh, I, okay, uh, I live in the morgue. So when I'm 15 years old and I have the living home to work in the uh, another factory, they only have place to live in the morgue. And I actually, I do now the painting. I did not paint this painting for many years because I had very bad dreams and you know, bad dreams always ghost uh, surround me and push my, um, my tummy. I'm just so terrified. And for me, because as my, I was 15 years old, and finally I painted on the canvas and put in the film because I want to let it out and to like a therapy, you know, like therapy, let me feel uh, light mail out, uh, you know, for my for my for my mind, you know. So, so uh, my documentary just uh, you know just all my personal story and but. My personal story also is connected with another millions of Chinese people's life too. Thank you so much. It is a pleasure meeting you. You're definitely someone, you're like a treasure. So it's so funny that I, I get to talk to you because you remind me so much of my mom and she's 75 and she's doing the same thing. She's painting and she has had like a life long career of, of art. So it's so funny that you and I are talking because you remind me so much of my mother. And I'm happy that you're sharing that information with us through a film festival to kind of like broadcast a little bit more, uh, to broadcast a little bit more um, your, your art and your impact to the world. Thank you so much for talking to us today. And we look forward to seeing you on the festival virtually, if you so want. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Where is the festival? We we location. We are in Florida right now, but we also we will also be hosting the festival virtually. So we will send you an email with all that information, and we will let the audience know as well how, uh, all the updates about the festival via Facebook. Oh, so you will not uh, visual like go to just on the visual. Yeah, virtual. Okay, how virtual. Yeah, how about we can see you yeah yeah you know on the face you know just yeah. the face to face 
you will see well face to face uh we will have some events in florida that you can okay. visit. so we will send all the filmmakers an infor out an information about about the festival that's great because florida actually is not far from out yeah florida is not a yeah it's part of uh four hours driving yes oh good driving. Then, yeah. we, then we then I do look forward to seeing you and taking a picture with you in person, seeing you in person and taking a picture with you. Yeah, that's be great. Thank you. So can I have a have one question to ask you too? So yes. where are you from? I, yeah, I'm, where I'm are you from, from? I'm from Dominican Republic. Uh, I came to United States and permanently moved here when I was about 20, 23 years old. And okay. I've had I have I've had a great time here developing my filmmaking career, focusing uh -huh. on my acting and focusing on everything related to that. That's great. Yeah. So, so yeah, right, I now, right now I'm 36 years old and looking forward to what you know, focusing on festival and empowering other filmmakers and helping with distribution. So that's that's basically the zone that I am in right now and moving forward. Oh, thank you. Oh my God. So you're so wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I cannot wait to see you in person and we can chat and get acquainted and maintain a relationship, you know, via the internet for future projects and for yes. all that you might have because artists are always delivering to the world and gifting to the world. Yeah, I look forward. You know, you have more experience than me, actually. I only started filmmaking this year. Yeah. But I, I do the yeah, I do art for my life and I do the photography in China. So, but I really learned to be the film maker as this year, in, actually in March. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. And um, I look forward to seeing you in person. Please do come to the festival when I when we send you the information about the. Okay. The yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you uh, Thank for you. having me. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay.